Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is the introduction to my lip project pan for 2021. Yes, this is going to be a whole project devoted to lip products. This is going to be a challenge for me. I started one of these projects last year. It went okay. I struggled a little bit, but I've learned some things. I think this project will be difficult. It will be slow, but I am, I'm up for the challenge. I'm ready to do this. I really do want to try and finish or get some really good progress on some of these products. I have nine products in the project and I was mostly looking at things that were older, things that I've had for a while, things that are sort of duplicates of other things. And that's why it's nine. Like there's no real like number for nine. Um, I did have a couple things that I took out. Uh, I didn't want it to be too many. I feel like nine is a lot, but it is a variety of things. So let's just get started. The first product is the Carmex Lip Balm. This is a gimme product uh, because it's pretty much, I don't want to say it's almost done, but it's, it's well used. So I just want to want to finish this up. I have a couple other pot lip uh, lip balms. So this one is like the, I don't know if it's the oldest, but it's the one that has the most use out of it. So I just want to finish it up. Its starting weight is 15.88 grams. The second lip balm is a stick lip balm. I like to have the two different styles of lip balms in a project because I feel like that actually works pretty well for me. This is a Burt's Bees lip balm. It says it's in the wild cherry flavor, but it doesn't really have much of a scent. I don't know if it's because it's that old. I mean, there's still a cherry scent there, but it's it's not strong. Uh, but this is very, very full. I will be doing like a family photo at the end with things twisted up so you can see. This one is, I don't know if it's 100% full. I do have another Burt's Bees lip balm. I should weigh them and see how close to full this is because that other Burt's Bees one is definitely like I've never used it. Its starting weight is 9.42 grams. I like both of those lip balms, so I think they should be okay to use. I tried to pick products that I do like as well, so make it easier to use. The third product in the project is this lip gloss from Revlon. This is in the super lustrous formula. Um, this is called Rosy Future. This is a dupe for the, uh, what do you call it, Fenty Gloss Balm. It's not exactly the same. This is definitely more brown, whereas the it's, it's a little deeper, but they're very, very close. Like on the lips, it's really, really hard to tell, especially once you share it out. Um, and I find they're a much more closer dupe now because I showed in... I don't know when these videos will go up. Yeah, it'll probably go up before this. In the other video where I bought the new gloss, they have like the bigger doe foot. The old version has the smaller doe foot. So the bigger doe foot's very much more like the Fenty one. So all the products I have put a little, um, what do you call it, the tape on the side? There it is. So I'll hopefully be able to show you as things go down. So again, this one, I wouldn't say this is a gimme, but from a lip gloss perspective, this is one that I have like the most use out of, I think, out of all of my lip glosses. So it's just over half full. The second lip gloss I have in the project is this Sephora one. I'm not 100% sure you can get these anymore. I saw like they had a kit in the sale section, but I'm not sure they're the exact same as these. I think they're like a longer skinnier tube. It could be the same formula though. Uh, I don't think they sell these anymore. This was one of those products that I used to throw in my cart to get like the minimum shipping amount because they were always in the, like the sale section for like $4 or something like that. Again, this is the oldest one I have. This is in the shade uh, 23 Berry Shake. I don't love this one because it has glitter in it and it's obvious glitter in it and the glitter sticks. Um, I'm not sure if, I haven't looked at the video swatches yet, but I have lip swatches. I'm not sure if any product or all the products I used after this, <laughs> you might see glitter on my face, it's because of this. Um, but I do like the color and I do like the formula of this. I do have two other ones. I weighed the two other ones. So this one weighs 16.5 grams to start. The other ones are around like 17 and a half. So that's how I know I've used, uh, you know, some of this product, like it's the most used out of the three that I have. That's the only, I think, product that's kind of one that I can't show progress on, which was kind of annoying, but I did want to put it in because it is an old lip gloss and I do just want to finish it up. 
The next product is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Kiddo. This is the sheer formula. These are old. I have three of these in the sheer formula, and then I have a matte lippy stick in Brink. I think they're all about four years old, I guess close to five. Um, well, I guess four and a half, because I'm pretty sure I bought them in the summer of 2016. And again, I have the little marker on the top, so hopefully you can see where I'm starting. It's pretty darn full. I really liked these. I'm surprised they're as full as they are. Like, they're all like that. <laughs> um, I don't know why they're so full, because um, I felt like I used a lot of them, like a lot of the product. Again, maybe they were really big, like maybe they were all the way up to the top of this cap. But I do like this color. Out of all three, this was the color. It's the more brown tone one. I do have another one called Juice Bar that's the more pink tone one that I don't mind, but I like this one a little bit better. And this one is also similar to Brink is the matte, and the matte's also a brown, so that's kind of why I picked this one. Its starting weight is 10.17 grams. The next product is actually not very old. Like everything else in this project is old. <laughs> um, this one is not, uh, but I put it in because I feel like it'll be easy to use. And I was playing with a bunch of lip products in December because I didn't really have anything in my project pan to finish up once I finished up that lip gloss from Julep. And this was one that surprised me. This is from that color workshop kit. I'm not sure, I guess this is the one that I got in 2018, like the big kit. And this is, I didn't keep all the lip products from that, but I kept this one. And it's this like pink color that's not normally something I'd like, but it's a little sheer. It's very lip balmy feeling. And that's what I was like, hmm, this actually might be really easy to pan because it feels like a creamy lip balm. And the bullet is actually not very big. Like you don't get a lot of product with this. So I feel like it should be good to pan. So hopefully you can see the progress on the lid there with the line. Item number seven is one of my favorite lipsticks. I don't know if this still exists. If it does, like I would buy a backup of this uh, or buy another one once I finish. Not a backup, but if I finish this, I will buy it again. This is the Rimmel. I think it's called the Lasting Finish Formula. It's in the shade 05 Paradise. I just really enjoy this color. It's like a cool tone brown with a little bit of pink in it. It's like my perfect, one of my perfect lipsticks, like it's like, I love this color. I can just throw it on. I don't have to really think about it. I feel like I've used a lot of this. It's hard for me to tell. Like there's still like a lot of um, lipstick in the tube, but I feel like I've used this quite a bit. So again, I'm, I'm kind of sad to pan it, but at the same time, I know I needed to pick products that I really enjoy using because that will make it easier to use them. Um, the starting weight of this is 15.14 grams. And there's the line on the side. Hopefully you can see where it's starting at. I tried to put tape on the side, so hopefully that will make it easier. Like I won't wear off the lines like I do all the time. The next item is another bullet lipstick. This is the CoverGirl Continuous Lip Color in Mocha. Again, I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. Fun fact about this, this stains my lips um, and it stained my hand. Uh, I, re I realized when I was swatching, I'm like, what the heck stained my hand? And then I, I did some testing and it was this. So, whoops. But maybe it's pretty good then that I'm using this up. Again, I feel like this is one that I do enjoy, but I, I thought I'd use more and I, I thought this was going to be smaller, but it's actually not as small as I think it is. Again, a really favorite lipstick. I really enjoy wearing this. It's a little orangey, which surprises me that I like it so much, but it's got enough pink in it that it like I, I can wear it. It's It suits me, I think. Um, this one is starting at 18.38. This is one that I might swap out. So I do have another continuous uh, color lipstick from CoverGirl that's just as old in Vintage Wine. I like Vintage Wine a little bit better, um, but I wanted to start with this one and see how I go get along with this one. Um, this is one that I might, might swap out with that one if I really get sick of this. 
And that's where it is starting right now, the little black line. And the last product in this project is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. This came in a little kit. This might actually be fairly new-ish too. I'm pretty sure I got this in like 2017 or 2018. There's not a lot of product, so I'm, I'm hoping this will be quick and easy to use, but we will find out. Sometimes these things are deceiving and they take a heck of a lot longer than you think they are uh, gonna take. But yeah, this is just, uh, I don't have any other of these. It's just one of the older-ish products in my collection and I just wanted to finish it up. I also think it should be pretty easy because it's like a sheer wash of color. The starting weight of this is 15.03 grams. So like my previous project, I'll do a family photo. So we'll do the family photo. I'm gonna do a family photo with just the, the lines because I don't know how well or how visible they are when I just held them up there. Um, and hopefully it will show progress when I show that. And then I'll do a family photo of the items with the uh, lipsticks up. So any of the ones that I can like turn up so you can see the difference, I will show that as well. So I want to I want to ask you please wish me luck with this project because I think I'm going to struggle with it. I know I'm going to struggle with it. The updates for this are going to go mid month, so the next time you'll see an update for this will be mid February. I'm going to keep this one and I think my nail polish project pan to mid month. I was thinking maybe alternating every other month, but we'll see how it goes right now. I'll do mid month, and if it gets difficult, then I might switch them to doing every other mid month. Um, yeah, and if I haven't mentioned, I am doing Nail Polish Project Pan. I don't know the order of videos that are going up. So you'll see that one come up uh, sometime around when this one is posted. If you like this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.